Hello, this is Sarah Miley Flores and welcome back to my channel. I know this video is long overdue, but your girl has been healing and recovering. And I must say, I've been feeling amazing these last couple of days. I've definitely recovered very well. So this video, I'm just going to summarize the big day by kind of telling you what I experienced on that day. And then I'm going to show you a few clips of everything um, quick, easy to the point. Um, so I want to start off with just 4.30 a.m. No, 4, 4.30 a.m. of the 31st of March. I woke up really early because I could not, I could not sleep. I was sleeping on and off from like midnight to 4.30. And I decided to finally wake up. We arrived to the hospital at around 6.30. They checked us in. I remember them asking me if I had a will and I kind of looked at my husband like, why are they asking this? But it's just standard procedure for any surgery, of course. We only waited about 15 minutes in the waiting room before they brought me to my room. Um, I changed into my surgery gear. They got my IV ready. Um, then the anesthe anesthesiologist came in, um, just asked me questions about my health, um, asked if I had any questions, and then right after my surgeon came in, um, and he just wanted to see if I had any questions prior to surgery. Um, I did tell him I was anxious because I'm just an anxious person. And I was like, I don't know if my liver is small enough. Even though I literally have been on a liquid diet since the end of January. And he was like, girl, don't worry about that. Like, you'll be fine. I don't think the nervousness hit me until it was time for surgery. And they walked me to the surgery room and it was this big white room, like white lights and people in gowns. And I was like, oh my goodness. And the nurse is like, oh, she's nervous. And they're like, oh, it's okay. You'll be okay. And I remember them asking me what I did for a living. And I was like, I'm a teacher. They're like, what grade you teach? And next thing you know, they're like, honey, your surgery's over. Like, wake up. And I was all this, so it's like an hour long surgery. Um, so this whole hour passed by and it was like two seconds for me. Um, according to my husband, the surgeon said everything went well. Um, it was easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. They had no complications. Everything was easy to access. I remember feeling really tired when I woke up and I just kept repeating to the nurses and my husband. I was like, I'm so tired. They asked me about my pain to rate it. I'm like, it wasn't. I didn't hurt at all. I was just really sore. So then they gave me like pain medication just to help with the soreness. Um, it kind of felt like you just did like a hundred thousand sit-ups and you just had like this cramping feeling in your stomach. And that was the feeling that I had. I actually ended up having five incisions across my abdomen. Um, and they're small. I kind of can see them now that the bandages are off, but they're actually very small. Um, so I spent a lot of my time after surgery sleeping. I did tell my husband, like, you know, thank you for staying, but I'm probably going to sleep. So you're more than welcome to go. Um, they had me walking just, you know, as much as I could up and down the, the hospital. It was actually, I mean, I guess it's a hospital, but it wasn't as big as like your community north. It was like a surgery center. So there's these small little rooms and then this big one main room where they do all the surgeries. Um, but yeah, I spent my time just walking on my phone and sleeping. Not much to do after surgery. Um, I didn't really have any pain medication after the initial dose they gave me right after surgery. Um, the nurses were so sweet. Um, I actually felt bad because their system to page them wasn't working. And my IV machine kept beeping, I swear, like every hour. Like it needed a new bag. The battery was low. Apparently at one point, like I bent my, my elbow and it came out of, I don't know, but I just kept beeping and, you know, the nurse was like, it's okay, honey. Like we're, that's what we're here for. Um, and, you know, they're kind of filling me up. They're like, oh, you're like, look so good. You're walking so well, like you're healing so well. Like we're proud of you. They're, you know, hyping me up. So that made me, made me feel good about recovery. Um, but it's pretty simple. Like I just thought about this elaborate process and thought it was going to be worse than it was. And it was a pretty easy, simple surgery. Of course, there's complication, but I've been lucky to have healed and recovering the way the way I did. 
Um, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I mean, I it was a really good experience, and I'm blessed to have had this opportunity to better my health. So I'm going to show you the rest of this video. I hope you enjoyed the clips. Stay tuned. See you soon. So it's about 4.45. I woke up around 4 and was like, I can't go back to sleep, so I decided to start my day. Um, I just got out of the shower, and this is what the doctor gave me to take a shower. I have to start using this two days prior to surgery, the night before and the morning of. It's a antiseptic, antimicrobacterial, antimicrobial, sorry. Um, and this just helps decrease the risk of infection during surgery. So, did that. I was able to drink my 96 ounces of liquid prior to surgery. So I'm happy I reached that goal. And my hospital bag is all ready. So my hospital bag is packed. I have a change of clothes. All my chargers, my laptop. Um, hygiene products. I will be only staying overnight. Oh, in slippers to be comfy. So I should be back home Friday morning. Here's that. There's the cat again following me. He a good boy. <laughs> he just wants pets. Oh, maybe not. He's trying to Hello everyone. I'm whispering because I don't want to be too loud. Um, it's almost 8 p.m. And I'm feeling much better. I don't really feel drowsy. As far as pain, it kind of just is sore, but I don't feel actual pain at all. The doctors and the nurses have been so nice here and made sure that I feel comfortable. Here's kind of my room. It's it's small but very cozy. And sorry for the loud noise. That's my IV machine. Um, so I will be discharged tomorrow at 6 a.m. So just to pass the time, I've been on social media, on YouTube, looking at videos and just relaxing and Again, I'm really surprised of how well I feel right now, so I hope this is a good sign about the rest of my recovery. Everything we build, not gonna fall apart. Yeah. It us a little chance to get it right. Yeah. We gotta try it cause we come too far. Yeah, yeah, got me, yeah, got me. On, my knees. on my knees. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Send me please. Send me please. What it keeps. Let you go. I can't.